That's Reverend Ike. Let me just, Reverend Ike, I have something which I want to show you, but you can't have it because it's mine. Uh, I want to know whether or not you think this may just be, have some bearing on what it is that you're saying to all of us here. They can because they think they can. Absolutely, I believe that because even the Bible says, as a man thinks, so is he. And this to me means as a man thinks of himself, so is he. Beautiful. Now we're going to get 100 people going to want that. I, I, this, is, uh, this is the only one I have. It's mine. Yes. Well, I, I don't agree with you at all, but I'm really not, I'm really not uh, envious of what you have. The, the thing I, I'm concerned about is what you're telling other people, that there's no God and there's no hereafter. Oh, no, I never said there is no God. I'm saying God is within you. But Can you accept God in you, yes, or would God you rather have him way off? God's in me, but... Uh, I see. Can you accept the goodness of life now, or would you rather die and go through hell to get to heaven? Oh, I don't think that. <laughs> no, I'm only saying to you that God is in you. But you're using the Bible. You're using the Bible. You're quoting things from the Bible, but yet you don't... Uh, what, where is your, uh, the Bible is our source of, uh, oh, Inspiration. I you, and yeah. I get the greatest well, inspiration you, from I mean, it. what makes you right and the rest of us wrong? I'm I mean, not saying that you're you wrong. I'm using what is right, what does me good, what works for me. Yes. But um, I feel that every religion interprets the Bible in their own way. And that's, that's so, true. So he's okay with you. Right. Uh, that's true. <laughs> All right. Yes. Uh, from what you've said of your, your youthful background, your philosophy was not a part of it then. How did it evolve? Well, you see, that type of religion was not meeting my need, and not only that, it was not meeting the needs of the people. Some of the most frustrated people in the whole world are religious people, and it's because religion has given them all of these frustrations about this business about sin and sex and everything. And so I just left all of that whole frustrating thing. I do not believe that God uh, enjoyed my suffering and sickness and so on and so forth. And so I left that concept. Yes. Do you have everything you want, not only materially, but in all ways? Or you I said you a, don't have an estate. Is that something you There you is a song that I sing in our church called All is Mine. And by that I mean health, happiness, love, success, and prosperity are mine. And to me, these are the riches of life. Health, happiness, love, success, and prosperity. And I have that. Reverend Ike, I just want to make one comment. Most people here, I don't think, realize that the self-image that they have is the one they create themselves. If the trappings that Reverend Ike has with him today, evidently he needs that for his own positive self-image. The thing that hangs me up is where do you place God in the hereafter? I where place is God, God now? now, except within you. How do you get God within you? God is within each individual, period. Well, where do you God think? has never been outside of the individual or something apart from the individual. Well, where this, do you is what I, this, is, this is the way I see spirit. Let's call it spirit. And I am God appearing as me. You are God appearing as you. No, I am not God appearing as me. And, but I this am is the, the discovery. Of God. This is the discovery that I try to bring each person to of the God within. Okay, you could make her feel a lot better if you would say there is a heaven and a reward that God has prepared for <laughs> No, most, You know what? They don't want it now. They want to die and get it later. Yeah, that's right. That's the real hang-up. Right. Well, isn't that all right? <laughs> what really bothers me is what happens to an undesirable person who has his heaven on earth by hurting other people? Isn't God just? where he's going to make it all even somewhere, Be sometime. not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever man sows, that shall he also reap. In my philosophy, I teach the individual to be right with himself first, to be honest with himself. If a person is right and honest with himself, he will be right and honest with everyone else. And this is what I strive to be and to do. Well, I feel, being a salesman, having gone to several um, self-motivation courses. I feel like the audience perhaps could swallow this better if he was up there as a self-motivation person rather than as a reverend, because his ideas are basically very good. In other words, people object to a reverend being prosperous and successful. Yeah. And I don't know, maybe... <laughs> Maybe what? I started to say, is there more of an objection because I'm a black reverend? No. 
and I'm prosperous well, and successful? Are you well, sure there is no question. subconscious racism? Let me, we'll, we'll be back in just a moment. <laughs>